I want to show you something that rolls around in my car with me, but it's really great and I use it all the time. And that is this little guy here. And I love this because it's filled with recycled grocery bags. This is also something I collect because you feel bad when you throw them away and I always forget to take them back to the grocery store to have them recycled. So this is a great way to use those and not let them go to waste. So I love this so much and I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's really easy. Okay, so all you're going to need for this project is a container that looks like this. Either an old Clorox wipe container. There's also like the Armor All containers or just a generic brand. You're just gonna want something this size that will open. I've also saved some wipe containers because I think that that would work really great as well. And then you're gonna need some scrapbooking paper. Just whatever color you like. I wouldn't go with a light color because if it's going to be in your car it might get kind of dirty. So I'd go with maybe a darker color. And of course my favorite, Mod Podge. And there's two different finishes. I went with a glossy finish for this one. And I think it might just be a little bit easier to wipe down. But and you can always go with a matte finish. You're just going to start by taking this off. to use this to measure how big I want my paper. I want it a little bit bigger than this, so put it down on the piece of paper and line up that edge. And I'm going to want it a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to mark that up here a little bit. I like to use this to cut my paper. I'm not very good at cutting a straight line, so I'm just going to stick that in there. So that's going to overlap a little bit. If that bothers you, you can cut that off, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And for this, I like to put the Mod Podge right onto the scrapbook paper. You want to get enough on there that it's going to stay wet while you apply it everywhere else, but you don't want it to, to put too much on there. It's going to goop out everywhere. There's usually some writing down at the bottom of that, so I didn't notice that when I put this one on, and you can kind of see that down at the bottom. So if that's going to bother you, just make sure to cover that up. Okay, so I'm going to leave that laying down, and I'm just going to lay this on there. that down as you roll so that you don't get any bubbles. I'm just going to add some more right now to this edge. But I'm going to let the rest of it dry for a few minutes before I add Mod Podge to the outside. Okay, so once that's dry, we're just going to cover it with Mod Podge. Making sure to get these edges really, really good. And I would recommend doing two or three coats of Mod Podge just because it's gonna be in your car. So just make sure to cover that really good. Like I said, it's going to make it easier to wipe down and it's gonna keep those edges from peeling. So that's it, you guys. Just a quick and easy little fun craft to make. You can do this with your kids. So I just left this plain because it's just going in my car. Um, but you can also add a ribbon or anything to make it more fancy. Because this would really be cute in a bathroom too, to kind of keep those little bags in there. So if you want to make it look nicer and like set it on the counter in your kitchen, that would be great. Or you can just leave it plain because I think it looks really cute just like this. So let me know if you guys try this. I love hearing from you guys on Facebook and Twitter and of course in the comments below. And I love seeing pictures. I love seeing what you guys do with these crafts. It's really, really great. You guys all do a really good job. So thank you so much for sending me pictures. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.